I welcome uh, all of you to a session uh, by Pratiksha Ravi. She's going to talk about building the brand the Agile Way today with us. Uh, thanks a lot, Pratiksha, for joining us today. Uh, so without much further delay, over to you, Pratiksha. Thank you so much. I'm going to start sharing my screen because that's where my script starts. Okay. Thank you, Manjuna, uh, for the lovely introduction. So uh, like you mentioned, I'm going to be talking about building your brand the Agile Way. So, quickly introducing myself. Hello, like the slide says. I am Pratyuksha. I'm Shah. No one ever calls me Pratyuksha. Only when I'm troubled, I'm, uh, I'm in trouble, I'm called Pratyuksha by my mom. Uh, I'm, I'm going to set the context why I'm here. All right, so I'm here because I love to talk. Of course, I do. Um, I have two young kids who are trilingual who can talk nonstop just because of me, thanks to me. However, I'm not here because of that. Or I'm here. Because I love to give presentations, I used to be a consultant. What do you think? I love making presentations, talking through that and boring people. But that's, again, not the reason why I'm here for. I'm here to help people get talking about their personal brand. I'm really passionate about that. If you've earlier spoken to me, you would know that I will not stop talking about one's own personal brand and how that is important to oneself. However, I'm here truly because I just want to simply share my own story. So whole, this, this whole um, building your personal brand is very close to me because I feel that has helped me sort of grow in my career. So now I've spoken enough about why I'm here. I think I should have started the other way around. I'm quickly going to introduce myself. As you can see in the slide, I am Pratyuksha Osha, um, Transformation and Strategy Lead for Natris Group. Uh, I work in the retail banking technology team. So in other words, I work with the retail banking technology team to um, drive the you know, shift the dial on the transformation agenda. The transformation could be anything from the, the way we have adopted agile, how do we sort of teach it, uh, develop adoption, skill transformation, what skills, what are the skills you need, etc. Cloud strategy, um, people side of transformation, how to make them keep them engaged, uh, how do you create an engineering community sort of thing. So I'm, I'm sort of a year and a half into this job and I'm really loving it. So um, while I move to the topic at hand, just quickly posting the question here. So how do I thrive in my job? How do I advance my career? Was one question that was nagging me for a very long time. I'm sure in you know, whichever uh, stage you are in your career, you are also thinking about this a little or too much depending on how good or how bad your job is. <clears throat> Before I move on to talking more about that, I want to tell you a sponsor. So I used to live and work in London a few years ago. Uh, and in London, I worked for a startup. And there, everything was very competitive. I, I was a product owner there. But I struggled to sort of find my place. I was given responsibilities. I was working on some stuff. But I wanted to be, you know, do bigger stuff. And I felt people didn't were reluctant in giving me more responsibilities, reluctant to, you know, bring me, pulling me into the leadership table as well. And I found it really uh, depressing because I thought, hey, come on, I have all these skills and whatnot, you interviewed me. But then why are you sort of hesitant to believe that I can do it? So I reached out to another friend in one of the coffee chapters, et cetera, and she mentioned, something she mentioned that sort of stuck with me, all right? Uh, so I keep using it. So she, what she mentioned was, it's very important to tell your story wisely. It's, you are the one who need to take that extra effort to be heard. That's what she said. And it sort of stuck with me. And I've been talking about it ever since. And I've been telling that to myself ever since. So I was one of these people who knew about, like, hey, this whole concept of building personal band exists. But I don't need it, is what I thought to myself. Uh, but however, this conversation with my friend really sort of turned the perspective for me. And she, she sort of emphasized so much on building my own personal brand. So the first aspect there about your personal brand is you need to first find it. You know, you, you, people are pas passionate about a lot of things. It's important to land your brand first. You understand what you want to be known for. Yeah. Just find it, build it. When I say build it, you just wherever and what point to <clears throat> career you are or whatever Ex, uh, how much ever experience you have now that has made you into a person all your life experiences all your professional experiences until now 
makes you what you are so all that sort of reflects on your brand so look at it and see how you can use those experiences those lessons those projects that you worked on to your favor so add that to your brand value and keep working on your brand so brand is not something okay i i discovered my brand i'm going to be known as um, a product owner i want to be known to be an effective product owner from today and then then you do nothing about it so you need to keep working on it to tell say how do i effectively elevate the pitch myself how do i grab opportunities how do i uh, ensure that people understand what i'm good at so you need to keep working on your brand also keep talking about it so i am one person um be braggy is one uh uh advice i give for a lot of people i mentor i think it's very important you talk about your achievements who else will yeah you know your achievement you have achieved it so you need to talk about it. this is important similarly you have to talk about your brand so that you can make a lasting impact so now that we've spoken about brand and we established i know a lot of you already know it just from my perspective i'm giving my story that personal brand is important we have established that and there's another bit to it so for building a personal brand is a project in itself um it's it's not like i do it on a weekend and then my brand is settled then i sort of that that is that out there so everyone see it's not like that it's it's a huge project you need to understand what your strategy how you're going to <clears throat> talk about it what do you want how do i what are the different nuances to it etc so it's a project in big initiative in itself and that's where uh, two of the pa- topics i'm passionate about marry all right so we have first building a personal brand i love talking about it then agile these two are my two passion so now we have topic in hand agile marries build your personal brand so that's what i'm going to talk about so um most importantly like i said it's a huge project so it's important that you are iterate to that you will start building your personal brand first of all assume you have a big brand strategy for example you want to become this whole big um, speaker you want to talk to people about your experiences you want to establish yourself as um, a keynote speaker you know? so i uh, start your brand strategy and so then you sort of divide that into sprint how do i start where do i start so in few months time that's where i want to get to or a year time that's what i i want to get to if you to stuck there you will probably not understand how you're going to achieve go get to that goal so it's important to sort of break it down into sprint if that will help you oh, so that there are small chunks of work you can do every day or every week or however you frequently want to work on it so that you can achieve your brand goal that will help in two ways number 1 I'm a sort of person I love to see progress. Sometimes I write out to-do lists like I I sort of uh, break a things into minuscule details so that I'm able to tick it off, yeah? Just because I can tick off more items on the list, I make a very extensive to-do list. So if you like me, if you you know divide it into small chunks of work, you'll be able to see progress and you you like it. And also if there is um you will be able to sort of uh be nimble and turn around if there's a problem uh for example it is you have to change just that you have to repurpose how it's working etc so it's dividing it in small chunks for work the next bit is be value driven so like i said so you want to become this whole uh, keynote speaker person so you you want you've been applying for a lot of uh, conferences to become one why to take lots of time and energy because you have to record videos blah blah and what not So instead of that, why don't you think about starting small? So always start with simplest of things, so that yes, it the values are bigger. Sometimes, sometimes when you do when you take a huge first step, you feel the amount of effort and the value you get are not. so it always sit bring take it to for talk about so start small so that you are able to focus your energy and you are able to see some value and also you are able to um see some progress which gives you a positive feeling so be value driven then you then you work on your plan next is be consistent just like exercise the main problem with me and exercise is i exercise like 
five, six days. I think I'm very consistent on exercise, Zumba and whatnot. And then I give up. Again, I feel, oh no, I need, I'm not fit at all. And I, after five months again, I do exercise for four days. I give up. And it's not helping my cause. Similarly, uh, <clears throat> building your personal brand, like I said, it, it's, it's a big project in itself. It's important to be consistent. It's not every day. Some people can. At least look at what you can do about your brand once a week. Why don't you have a quiet day on a weekend? Uh, if you have, if you want to. Or why don't you? I usually pick Wednesdays for all my important stuff. Because Monday, Tuesday, Monday and Tuesdays are still like uh, your, you have the hangover from the weekend. Thursdays and Fridays are your leading to the weekend. So Wednesdays, I usually do my big rocks. So that because I am also energized. And I'm I'm not looking forward to the weekend, so I'm so motivated to work. So when I usually pick Wednesdays, but if Saturdays work, any other day works, do go for it. Look at your brand and see where you are at, what you want to be working on. Just do a small thing every week so that, that you keep you see progress and you don't forget about it. It's very important to see your consistency when you are building your brand or you want to talk about it because otherwise you'll give up otherwise you'll be like ah oh, this is one more thing i need to do maybe it's not very important maybe i will do something else i will, <clears throat> I will or i'll come back to it after three months i'm not going to change but then it's very important to be consistent so that you can see results you can work on it and you know you don't give up totally on working on your personal brand the next bit very important bit yes value driven is important Networking is a big part of your personal brand. So it's very important that you, like it says in the slides, we live in a world of co-creation. None of us, you know, you're not alone. You're always a team. Um, so all the brands and all the, whatever efforts you put in are, are shaped by conversation, are shaped by network. It's important to invite collaboration into your brand building activity. And network is also important to propagate your brand, take it forward. So it's so when you you know connect up with people and make sure you talk about yourself, make sure you tell them what you're working on and ask for feedback. Ask them, you know, what are you doing? How do you think this works? Sort of thing. It's 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 very important that I, it, we help each other. I, and so like you are building your brand, that should be another person who you're talking to in the same boat, and you can work together and share notes or something like that. I think because. We live in we live in a world of old relationship. It's very important to network well, and network is golden. I mean, it's very important to have this network and also utilize it. Uh, and like I said, it's very important to get feedback. So, for example, you work on your brand, you have this whole nice elevator pitch. You have sort of linked all your life happenings into how it makes up you and how this makes up your brand and everything. And you type it out and save it in a drive somewhere or not use it or not show it to anyone, it's not going to work. So it's important to talk about your brand to people. You go and ask for feedback. A lot of people wait for feedback to come to them. So it's important you go and ask for people. Here's what I think. This is what my career journey looks like. Here's what I think I'm will be my next step or I want to get into. What do you think? What's your feedback on this, etc. So it's, it's important you share your feedback as well when... Uh, will do a similar exercise to this. So that's about feedback. The last bit, so very important bit, I think. Uh, three years ago, if you'd asked me what's the personal brand, I would have said, oh, I'm this awesome product manager who's very good with the agile concept, who's very good in running growth shows and you know managing the roadmaps and backlogs and <clears throat> stakeholders and whatnot. Now you ask me, my brand is, I'm all about transformation and all about um, implementing changes and all about looking at how you, um, how to deal with people when you're implementing new changes and what are the people transformation side of things. So this, this is, this is my brand now and I've changed my brand and I'm, I'm happy about it. So it's important that while people are passionate about a lot of things, your brand will change depending on the market, depending on the situation, depending on the uh, opportunities. Important to look that Look at it and change quickly. Yes, it's important to be nimble to rest, but also it's very important to grab the opportunity when you get it. You always have to learn and change. Um, I'm strong. I'm a strong believer. So if I, if you put it out there, if you make it visible that say you are this people transformation or you're this 
strategy and transformation question i just <laughs> throw him my title there when you make it a pattern opportunities and if someone wants something to be done some changes to be made they are just having a difficult situation with their team or something you will come to their mind but if they have to prop solve uh, solve problem uh, so it's very important that you put your brand out there and opportunities and people will come to you once they realize what you do that just to summarize what i am not too sure how long i have taken to do this today just to summarize so uh what we need to do while doing the brand building is be iterative and be present like i said start small um embrace the um uh, power of social media i too uh, i i think i abuse linkedin sometimes but then uh, it's very important to use social media and linkedin profile and online community to your advantage and like i said networking is very important and use your network wisely if there is no harm in asking for help or support so even say you are seeking a job ask, reach out to your network and ask for one if you want support in figuring out where you want to go next go to your network you want to build a network is important that you use them a lot of people have lots of friends and connect on linkedin but then using that is also equally important the next bit is know the value delivered and showcase it you want to do here you are often told even me to keep uh, you know to keep your head down and work hard and the less work speak for itself i was like that so i i thought okay hard work and sort of work really hard and the world will talk about you but then making yourself visible goes a really long way just remember that for some people it's hard for some people it comes easy but then that's what here we are here for that's what we hit yourself visible my something it's important you make your um uh, uh yourself visible be braggy talk about your achievements find a platform find a group of friends who you can share with and also appreciate them when they share their achievements it's important that we help each other and there is no harm in sharing your achievement or talking about it. the last bit is uh, being adaptive so i want to quote something which was very helpful to me so i feel i used to volunteer a lot in more sure more for them it helped me a lot because it helped me develop a lot of skills that i earlier didn't have for example i used to sit with the school um in the uk i was a stem ambassador i used to sit with school kids to give them sort of interview and feedback thing so that's where i learned to give better feedback so volunteering sometimes it's sort of free it's a win win it's free it makes you feel good it helps the other person or the other entity where you volunteering for also helps you develop some the on the other bit uh, if you want to grow yourself technically there's no harm to talk up to your employer or your manager and ask to be trained so if you think okay i'm here i want to get here in my brand this is the gap these are the skills i want so when you realize what skills you want what training that required just work up your manager and ask for it yeah just don't be shy as both of people if it's a bit good business case you, you can get it done finally spend time on reflection so take time for yourself look at your brand look at what you achieve look at what you want where where you want to go and self reflection is a very very important thing in a self uh, in your personal brand yes networking is important uh bragging about it is important uh, talking about it is adapting training all that is important but only when you self reflect you will understand if that's what you want to be known for is this the correct brand for me do i uh, am i shining in what i'm doing so all these are very important to to get your personal brand out there so finally i often end with the slide is very important for you to understand no one is going to help you in your career no one is going to take it forward they are there to support but then you are the hero of your own life you're going to build it you like your own personal brand you're going to build it you're going to keep working on it and you're going to keep talking about it. that's all thank you so much thank you all for listening to me uh, if you want to keep talking these are the different handles but then i think i will be in the hangout area if anyone has any questions can we leave that there for a minute Yes, yes, Pratiksha. Yes, right. Yeah. Uh, uh, thanks, thanks for the wonderful session. Uh, uh, very motivating words.